my first question is, uh, what are your plans for graduation now? So uh, we have had a lot of conversation with our seniors, with our high school principals, with our faculty, um, and with parents as much as possible to try to determine what do people really want to be able to do. And the message that we got back very strongly is that, that an in-person graduation is the preference of, of the majority of people involved. And so we had to think through how do we get to a point where we can potentially have an in-person graduation while still having some backup plans in case for some reason that's not able to happen. And so that's where we've arrived at uh, postponing our, our regular graduation ceremony from May until the July 9th, 10th and 11th in order for us to be able to potentially have that possibility of a full live in-person graduation with audience participation and all of the normal things that we would do. Um, and so uh, we will continue to hold that at the HEB Center in Cedar Park um, in order for us to have that, that, that full experience for our kids, if that's at all possible and safe for everybody involved at that time. And then our team has also built a couple of alternative proposals in for that date. Um, in case we can't have a full participation, we will have a social distancing version, a kind of a hybrid version of that. Um, where we limit the number of tickets and limit the number of participants on that day, but still have a live uh, ceremony. And then our last option, which uh, we will go to only if we have to, is a kind of a, a hybrid version also, but one where only graduates are involved. Um, their parents will be able to accompany them into the HEB Center um, one at a time so that we can get video and pictures and try to capture it as much as we can. Um, while keeping people distance from each other. Um, and we'll have a full professional production that we'll be able to share with our seniors at the end of that. Uh, when making this decision, who uh, was a part of making this decision? Was it the principals? Was it, was it a decision made alone by you? Or was it the voice of the Lanyard ISD community? Yeah, absolutely not a, a decision that I made. Um, we, these are high school graduations. And so we wanted our high school principals to be squarely in charge of making this decision together as a group of six. Um, they did consult uh, the Leander ISD community very carefully. They worked with their seniors mostly, with their seniors' parents. Um, they tried to you know, tap into the leadership structures that they have in their schools with student council and some of those structures. Um, and they, they really had a lot of conversations um, from what I understand about this with the with their communities with their high school communities to get a feel for what was the predominant consensus about when we should hold graduation and what it should look like do do seniors have to wait until the graduation ceremony to receive their diplomas that's another really good question um uh, if a senior had a need for their diploma sometime before that i'm sure an arrangement could be made uh, to get those to them, but for the most part, I think we'll be waiting until that graduation date to get them their diplomas. Okay. Dr. Gearing, a big part of um, this whole graduation process is the, the feeling of, of being a graduate and knowing that uh, the students have graduated from Cedar Park. Um, what would you like, or Cedar Park and Leander ISD schools, uh, what would you like to tell the students um, if they're having doubts as if they haven't graduated high school yet? like they're waiting for the ceremony what would you absolutely. tell them absolutely you know um all of our senior students have completed the requirements that they need for the most part there may be a couple of exceptions that we're working with on an individual basis but for the most part our seniors have completed all the requirements that they need to graduate and they um, will become graduates of leander isd um, the ceremony i think is really important it's a it's a great closing celebration of the incredible hard work that these kids have done over um, at least four years of high school and for for a lot of them you know uh, in Leander ISD specifically it's been a, a lifetime and so um, we want to celebrate with them we want to share in the joy that is walking across the stage and receiving that diploma with the pomp and circumstance that they deserve and that's why we've pushed off this graduation date until July to try to accomplish that uh, in the best possible way that we can. We really want to celebrate with them um, and honor the fact that they've done an incredible amount of work, they've achieved amazing things, 
um, and they're ready to take that next step. And that closure for us is really important so that we can send them on their way with the, with the right ceremony. And uh, is there anything else you'd like to add uh, detail-wise uh, regarding the graduation ceremony? I'm just so proud of our graduating class, our seniors of 2020. Um, this is the reason that we do what we do every day. Um, and we're ready to celebrate with them this huge accomplishment of graduating from high school.